Google Classroom is a great way to interact with your students and give assignments, but maybe you want a little more organization and to incorporate some things that parents could see also. A Google site is great for that. So I'm going to click on the tab and go to sites.new. And that's quickly going to get me to a Google site that I can just start adding content. The secret to Google Sites is double click. When I double click, I get this wheel and I can add text. And I can change this to a title and choose a theme. But how do I incorporate Google Classroom? Well, there's copy links. So what we're gonna do is go back to Google Classroom Find an assignment that I want to draw students back to or an announcement that I want to draw them back to and copy the link. Click on the class, classwork, find the assignment, copy link, and then back in the site, I'm going to go to insert, button, paste the link to the assignment, And now that button is going to take them back to Google Classroom, but allows me to put more context, build in some elements that I want to communicate with parents, maybe provide some reflection questions, just what are we doing today, or other materials that to go along with it. So how do I publish this? So we're going to click on Publish in the upper right-hand corner. This that says, who can see my site? Is anyone at my school? So the default is only students or teachers at your school. So if you do want parents to be able to see it or you don't want to force them to be logged into their student account, you're going to need to change that. So I'm going to click on manage and it notice there's two things going on here. Draft. Specific people can edit. Okay, so that top one is who has edit access. So think about that. So we're going to look at the second one really. And so that's where it says publish anyone else Keeler can find and view. I'm going to change that to anyone can find and view the published version. So that's gonna make it publicly accessible. So when I share the link with a parent, they're gonna be able to see it. Whereas if I use the second option, only people at your school can see it, and the third option, only people whose email addresses you explicitly share can see it. I'm gonna save. Now this is gonna be really important that you use this link icon up in the toolbar. So the link at the top of this page is the edit link and the back end. You want to send parents and students to the front end where it looks all nice. So make sure that you click that link icon. So I'm going to link them to this page. Copy link. Back in classroom. I'm going to add link. And now I have my classroom together with the website.